Welcome to the new section of this course, Minimal Machine Learning Solution. In this section we will start with SVM classification, then cross-validation using various algorithms, and then finally look at classification versus regression. Now let's move on to the video, SVM classification. In this video, first we will state the problem to be solved, then choose a model to solve the problem, next train the model, after that take predictions, and finally, measure how well the model performed. First we will create x-axis for data. We now store the first two features, that is columns of the observations as x, and the target as y, a convention in the machine learning community. Now we state the problem. We are trying to determine the flower type category from a set of new observations. This is a classification task. The data available includes a target variable, which we have named y. This is a supervised classification problem. Next, we choose a model to solve the supervised classification. For now, we will use a support vector classifier because of its simplicity and interpretability. To measure the performance of prediction, we will split the data set into training and test sets. The training set refers the data we will learn from. The test set is the data we hold out and pretend not to know as we would like to measure the performance of our learning procedure. So import a function that will split the data set. Apply the function to both the observation and target data with the help of this command. The test size is 0.25 or 25% of the whole data set. A random state of one fixes the random seed of the function so that you get the same results every time you call the function, which is important for now to reproduce the same results consistently. After that, load a regularly used estimator a support vector machine. You have imported a support vector classifier from the SVM module. Create an instance of a linear SVC. The random state is fixed to reproduce the same results with the same code later. The supervised models in scikit-learn implement a fit XY method, which trains the model and returns the trained model. X is a subset of the observations and each element of Y corresponds to the target of each observation in X. Here we fit a model on the training data. Now the CLF variable is the fitted or trained model. The estimator also has a predict, that is X method that returns predictions for several unlabeled observations, X test, and returns the predicted values, Y predict. Note that the function does not return the estimator, it returns a set of predictions. So far you have done all but the last step. To examine the model performance, load a scorer from the metrics module. With the scorer, compare the predictions with the held out test targets. We should get the output approximately equal to this. Without knowing very much about the details of support vector machines, we've implemented a predictive model. To perform machine learning, we held out one fourth of the data and examined how the SVC performed on that data. In the end, we obtained a number that measures accuracy, or how the model performed. What's more? To summarize, we will do all the steps with a different algorithm, logistic regression. First import logistic regression. Then define a program with the modeling steps. For that we will first import more libraries. These are the libraries that we imported and will be used in our program. Then we will create a data of X. Next we will create a data target of Y. After this, split the data into training and test sets, in which test size will be 0.25 or 25%, and random state will be 1. Post that to use these commands to train the data and fit the logistic regression model. Following that, predict using the test observations. Now we will measure the accuracy score using the highlighted command. And here is the output you should get output similar to this. This number is lower, yet we cannot make any conclusions comparing the two models, SVC and logistic regression classification. We cannot compare them because we were not supposed to look at the test sets for our model. So here we have come to the end of this video.